Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now I just came back from the mine and I actually spent more than 48 hours underground so I do have more cool tech to share with you guys. Now just to recap our first 24 hours in the first video, we actually talk a little bit about 5G video calls, 5G video splicing and of course the unmanned driverless vehicles. But in today's video, we want to focus a little bit more on what a digital twin is all about. I did mention in my previous video that I will tell you about it and share a little bit more on how it works. So in today's video, I'm going to try and give you a very layman terms, you know, idea of how a digital twin really works in industries. Let us begin. Now, first and foremost, before we start talking about the solution, we first have to go back a couple of steps and find out what the main problems and challenges were being faced in the mining industry. Now, let's go back down underground into the mines. When I went there, I actually noticed that there were thousands of different machineries, equipments and operations all using different kinds of brands and of course because they were produced by different companies, they all had different operating systems. Now you can already imagine the kind of challenges a worker will feel because they have to learn so many different kinds of machines, so many different kinds of operating systems and it's just a not very efficient way of working underground. So this is where Huawei actually came up with his first of a kind solution. You can think of it as a platform because what it's doing is actually very amazing. Now with Huawei's platform, what it can actually do is actually pull in the data and information from each and every single one of those machines, equipments and computers and put it all into one large data pool. Now what do you do when you have this super large data pool of information? Well, what Huawei's platform is doing here is it's actually translating all the different languages and trying to create one single output language that people can just see and understand right away as soon as they check out those information. So again, with all this information at your fingertips, you know, what can a miner really do? Well, actually quite a lot guys. So with all those information at your fingertips, you have information like the temperatures down below, you have information like the output, you can have information of how the drill is even moving. A lot of information is actually at your fingertips. All those that I just said just now leads us to the main story of today, which is that digital twin. What this digital twin is basically means is that we are effectively creating a digital version of an actual scenario or an actual machine down underground. So let me give you a very brief example. When I was underground, under, inside the mines, I noticed that there was a huge drill. I can't really describe it because, you know, uh, I'm not a very professional miner, but there was this huge machinery and just navigating through the mine itself, getting to the machine, it is actually a very tedious kind of process. And I actually felt myself like, you know, it might, I might fall somewhere in between and all that. So it's a quite dangerous place to be, but we have that physical large machine over there. Now, it's very dangerous and of course we need multiple miners or workers to actually take note of that machine. But with the digital twin, we actually have cameras pointing onto the machine. We can actually detect and track and monitor the output, how fast it's moving, how deep it's drilling, the pressure, a lot of information and we can recreate the entire machine in a digital form and actually remote control it from the comfort of our own office. So. You don't actually need anyone to be down there, you know, operating the big machinery in a very dangerous environment, but you can actually do so in the comfort of your own room. So this is how the entire digital twin thing works. Basically, you are able to monitor and remote control your machinery, your drills, things that are very large, large scale projects, all from the comfort of your office. So again, this digital twin is actually created by Huawei and you can actually replicate this formula in different mines. So if let's say you are having another mine, a different mine, they can actually make use of Huawei's platform and also implement this system directly into their own mine to have this better efficiency, better outputs, and of course, improved safety, which is very, very crucial in an environment like mining. All right, so other than just your equipment, I also learned that you can actually create digital twin of your processors, you can create digital twin of your officers, a lot of things can actually be replicated and created a one-to-one -one version in digital form so that you can remote control it, track it, monitor it, and also predict future situations like your maintenance and if anything might go wrong with the machine, you are actually one step ahead because you actually predicted it already. That's basically the whole story with Digital Twin. I hope today's very quick video actually helped you understand a bit further on what this Digital Twin is all about. You might have heard it before, but it's actually a very significant role in industries today. All right, so with that said, uh, that pretty much sums up my quick story about 
the Mining Underground and Digital Twin. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. If you want to find out more about this, you know, how all these things work, I'll put in a link uh, in the description box as well so you can find out a little bit more about that. But essentially, it is really all about pushing forward, you know, digitizing the mining industry. You know, again, it's about that maximizing output and reducing, you know, any kind of safety concerns to miners underground. All right, guys, with that said, thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, I hope it hasn't been too long and I do look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel as well if you want to see more content like this. Uh, stay safe and take care, everybody. Bye-bye.